What is up, tribe? It is your girl Naja here, aka the Voodoo Child, and I am back with another pop culture rant for the week. This week, I'm going to be taking these um, locks out again. Shameless self promotion because I worked so hard on this video. If you guys need something to watch, you have an hour to spare. Please check out my super head deep dive on the confessions of video vixen i'm not about to ramble no more i'm about to take this off oh. <laughs> well, let's get into the first topic the bet awards was a whole freaking mess <laughs> I have a few things that I want to talk about with the BET Awards. A few people uh, stole the show for me, okay? <laughs> um, I did not watch the whole thing through, but I did watch almost like every single performance. And I saw the behind the scenes just like y'all did, okay? So, of course, the first thing I'm going to talk about is JT and Lil Uzi. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Some people are saying it's because of Ice Spice of why that went down. Hear me out. I don't care what was the fuel to the fire that ignited the emotions. Can we all agree to not throw phones? Do you know how many innocent civilians were sitting around you? They could have easily got wonked in the head and that would have been an assault charge. Or let's just break it down to the bare minimum. Throwing phones at people is an assault charge. That just happened to that girl, BB, uh, Rhea, Rexa, whatever her name is. Like that's an assault charge, hitting somebody with a phone. Yeah, I don't think it's cute. Um, I even said this in my unpopular opinion about your faves. I think that relationship is very toxic in general. I think they both think it's cute to be putting their hands on each other and doing that weird codependent over possessive crap like they're in high school or something and don't know no better. But hey, I digress. I get the reason why people think it was about Ice Spice. The fact that old girl called him a, a, a groupie. And then the poor girl was sitting right there. Like, she's sitting right there, like. Then, you know, the Damage Control Act has to come in. Now, before before BET even wrapped up the award show, there was some damage control to make sure the world knew that there was no beef between JT and Ice Spice. Because when I tell you, JT done like the girl picture. JT done come out smiling, the kiki -ing. Happy as all can be. Unpopular opinion, I guess, but I just think it's so evident that, like, she really did feel some type of way. They're trying to say that, oh no, it was some random that tried to sit in her seat and that's who she was calling a groupie and throwing her phone at. That's even worse. That's even worse. But I'm not buying that, especially because Uzi has been dropping little hints. He even name dropped her in one of his most recent songs, like, She had a love for her. She like, I don't know, but kudos to the damage control, I guess. But nobody wants to be the person hating on Princess Diana right now. I get it, but keep it a book. Uh, I don't know. It's just so weird seeing all these girls like treat Ice Spice a certain type of way. Um, I personally think it's because she's younger. Just because they grown asses be lusting after her. From day one, pe people in the industry were trying to groom her. Drake, like... I don't know. I just think it's really odd. She gives me little sister vibes. Like, that's why I personally be feeling uncomfortable when I be seeing Nikki bumping butt cheeks with her. Because it's like, I see her as a little sister, you know? I, I don't know. Anyway, that's irrelevant. I don't, I think it's weird internet's running to blame Ice Spice uh, for JT committing assault. I, I, I don't know. I've been said I don't think the relationship is cute and I think it's not doing anything for either party. Like neither of them are growing um, artistically or anything from the relationship. <laughs> I mean, shoot, Lil Uzi, was he being a munch? I don't know. But that just made JT just look really embarrassing. And honestly, I would, I would get out of there. Where did Ice Spice go when the phone got thrown though? Like, oh, how could I forget before I move on from Ice Spice? Oh my God, the crimson chin herself. Baby Spice! Mwah. 
Daddy's in the building. Ice Spice. Natalie, who? What the fuck? Crimson Chin, aka Natalie Nunn. I don't know how she got these tickets. I don't know who's allegedly, allegedly, who's nuts. She had to rub her chin up on. I, I have no clue. She was basically smelling Ice Spice's farts. She was so freaking close. And honestly, she was being so cringy. Oh my God. And don't get me started on her most likely thinking that she is the core of the verse of the summer. Like she will never let this go. Chin was like literally international. This chin has been making noise for years and I love it here. And I hope if Nikki does a music video that I could be in it. Even if my name was Natalie Nunny, but even if my even if Shout out to Nikki. Even if my name one that you because people always talk about their like even if even if even if my name was Natalie. Oh, you know what else is so random? I saw Suki Hana. I didn't talk about her on my last pop culture rant, but I did talk about her on my pod, I think last, the week before last, basically about her and the YK Osiris thing. So now she want to come out talking about some, uh, she just posted a picture from the BET Awards with her and NLE Choppa, which is, NLE Choppa is another one of those young artists who older artists like to project onto him their sexuality and stuff. Anyway, yeah, she's taking a picture with him, talking about some eating more dudes than Jeffrey Dahmer. She said that that was a lyric to one of her songs. Girl, that still don't make it right. Like, that's horrible. Did you not see the family's response to Netflix? Does it bring back all of these horrible memories? Yes, it does. I have been through hell because of this one person. I'm gonna keep the language clean. The woman who vented her anger on Dahmer watched the show's recreation of that moment and says, it felt like reliving it all over again. It brought back all the emotions I was feeling back then. These people are very much still alive. Their families are here. And let's just keep it about you did that for attention. I stood by Suki when that thing happened because I don't care what persona you put out into the internet. As a person, you don't deserve to get touched on if you don't wanna be touched. I don't know. It's just the Jeffrey Dahmer thing for me. Very weird. Very weird way to get attention. Suki make music, right? So because you didn't have nothing to perform, you decided to do that to get attention. Okay, shout out. So then the Amigos did a surprise performance. That was really cool to see, especially after the tragedy. Speaking of the Amigos and everything, I've been seeing Cardi. <sighs> Cardi, Cardi, Cardi. Now look. I'm not one of those, you're either a party gang or you're a barb ass person. I mean, I'm kind of too old for that. If you would have caught me, if like this whole thing would have happened when I was like in middle school or something, maybe I would have be like more passionate about it. Um, don't get me wrong, I did listen to Nicki in middle school. I'm just saying like the whole stan culture wasn't as how it is today but that being said i'm just saying like i have no loyalty to nobody bit like i listen to what i listen to and i put my money where my mouth is and that's just about it when it comes to my support but i digress from the beginning when i was following cardi one thing that i peeped about her was that she didn't she needs a social media manager and i thought she had one because we haven't heard nothing crazy from her in a while and if it was a passionate a tweet or a live or something like that very safe topics like and by safe topics I mean the masses would agree with what you're saying if that makes sense like she doesn't really say anything that uh profound <laughs> that would make you sit and think type you know like and even if she does try to come with like little conspiracies or something like that she'll admit like it's regurgitated from a youtuber or a tiktoker that she saw like very safe content. So I just assumed she had a little, you know, a little, uh, some help on the internet PR points, but I guess not because our girl's in Clubhouse. Be outside like that. So when I do be outside and these ball players and these rappers and these this, they see me, their voices start trembling. Like, <laughs> hi, Cardi. Like, made me nervous because I'm bad. You don't got that. I got that. So every single time I try to bring turmoil to my marriage, I'm just letting y'all know what's going to happen next. Well, we're gonna get a divorce. People are gonna be mad nosy, mad happy. 
Um, I'm gonna make an album. People are gonna want to hear the album because of it. Um, <laughs> another rich gonna me. And what? Like what? Like 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 what? 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 would be the point that y'all be trying to? What? What do y'all be trying to accomplish when y'all be bringing my up? Like what is it? What? Listen, don't pay attention to that country man, y'all. Don't pay attention to the country man. That spaces the other day, that motherfucker spiraling and thinking shit. Come on now, I'm Cardi B. I think sometimes motherfuckers forget I'm Cardi B. If I was giving this pussy to anybody, it would be out. I'm not just anybody. Can't fuck regular degular schmegler because they gonna tell the world, and I can't fuck nobody in the industry because they gonna tell too. These what was that? Y'all ever heard that Ruby Rose record where she said got a big ass mouth? So please, boy, stop acting stupid. I would not have um went on Clubhouse to defend no man, to defend a relationship that nobody knows the inside of, like. I don't know about y'all, but I didn't even hear about these cheating rumors or see them anywhere else. And then, oh, it doesn't stop there. Why are you going back and forth with Tasha K, girl? Granted, I know some bloggers are like, oh, Cardi, if you give Tasha K any attention, you're going to keep her fan base going and blah, blah, blah. Duh, that's what she wants. I mean, she has to pay the lady. She owed the lady money. And if she's not going to put out no videos, then mama not getting no no bread right you know in doja's new song where she was like i paid your whole rent with a reply or whatever like that um that's cardi really is that for tasha k and tasha k knows that and she may think she's using you know cardi to get up and all get up in the world and all that stuff like that but it's like realistically the judge said you have to pay this lady back and all your money is going to go to this Belcalis. Now, I know some people feel some type of way. And, you know, Nadja love the kids and stuff. I take up for the kids on this channel. You know, she felt some type of way when Cardi said that she was going to uh, take the baby college fund. And honestly, unfortunately, wasn't that already going to be the case? If old girl is smart she would have taken out an account in the baby's names which i'm sure tasha has done because she ghetto as fuck that's some hood shit when you be putting shit in your baby name like but hey in this instance this would be a, a w when it comes to generational wealth um a lot of people think just passing it on is the better option when in reality you're passing on taxes and debt you know just like so Hopefully she figured something out for her kids and before this even was a thing. I mean, they've been in court for a long time. Let me get into Kodak. So some of y'all don't know, I actually have a um, side hustle. If you're an old school subscriber, you know what it is. I like to keep them separate, but it, it's like a Florida blog. And I saw this right when it happened, uh, Kodak got a warrant issued for his arrest. Uh, because he failed his drug test. Kodak Black is facing another warrant for his arrest for failing to show up for court-ordered drug testing. The random drug and alcohol tests are a part of the terms of the rapper's pretrial release. The Pompano Beach native, whose real name is Bill Capri, currently faces felony trafficking and drug possession charges stemming from an incident last year. Last July, the rapper was pulled over in a traffic stop where a Florida Highway Patrol trooper found dozens of oxycodone pills and $74,000 in cash in his vehicle. Now, if y'all don't know, he was recently in court over a drug he pled to the judge on some like give me a second chance i know y'all be wanting to throw the key away but like for real like trust me i'm this is just a mix up it's like it's so much great like, it's so much things we can do like together like it's so much things we can do together than prison jail he tried to claim that he didn't know that he was doing a drug child anyway um and what he came up positive for is very concerning I can't even say it. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Authorities said he tested positive for fentanyl. Y'all know I lost somebody to that. Uh, not the same circumstances. Like the person in my life was not a um, addict, but still, it's very sad to see how much that has taken over. You know, Florida for real. So he's currently on the run, girl. I don't know if, if by the time this video goes up, if he'll turn, if he'll be turned in. Hopefully. Um, cause it'll just be, look worse. But while he's on the run, I don't know if this is what sparked the arrest warrant. I'm gonna have to check the dates. Or if this was done while he was on the run. But this man Kodak was on Instagram live looking very inebriated, looking very messed up. And just really sad, you know. Man, if he busts your head right now, bro, it's worth it. 
Because you're basically trying to tell us, yo, whatever he following, whatever he leading, and however, whoever he gets his direction, and all this shit, he blind, he's stupid. So, it's like, so with that, and then I just brought eat most of my stuff. I know I said this shit already, bro, and motherfuckers are high in the church. Who try to wait till they 40 years old with church every day and all shit. Yeah, I did say that. And like, this shit like that, bro. Whatever, man. Fuck, I don't know. So, just press me going out. It's fucking talking. And I swear, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna go mute. Just like, get the church, and I'm gonna say, I'll have a real insight. Because I know all of it, it, it seemed like, it seemed like I'm crazy and, uh, and I am not shit, shit, shit. shit. Damn, what kind of person are you? This motherfucker said you need to go back to jail and sober up, like for real, for real, man. How, how, and why would you? And why do you feel like that's the answer to my, or whatever you feel like? Why do you feel like that's the answer to my what you come? It's just really um, unfortunate to see someone who got a presidential pardon. Your life was supposed to be over. You were supposed to be done. You got a presidential pardon, regardless of what Looney Tune was in office and gave you the pardon. You still got that, and this is what you're choosing to do with it. And you still got another slap on the wrist after you got caught, after the fact, committing a felony. Like, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I know there's some people out there that think like, you know, oh, Florida's gunning for Kodak because he always in trouble. Trust me, Kodak Black is Florida's golden boy. He brings us so much money, so much tourism. A lot of people don't remember, forget, like, before, all we had was, like, Trina and Trick Daddy. And then there was this big gap of, like, nothing coming from Florida. And Kodak filled that gap. So he is a favorite. I don't know why they think people coming for him. He is a, a favorite. All you're seeing is, in my opinion, like, collective shock. Like, you're doing um, all this... For what? When you're so blessed and highly favored, even his his uh, S.A. case or like a assault case. Kodak Black later tweeted about his experience in court and explained that he only entered the plea so he could put the whole incident behind him. Five years later, both of us just wanted to get this shit over with. And I ain't had to come off no money, Kodak tweeted. Ain't got to register as a sex offender or none. That's a play if you ask me. Y'all got me f***ed up. I ain't that freaky, homie. He added, y'all be one to go out sad, homie, wishing bad on the real. I ain't never seen it work. My heart goes out to all the girls out there getting raped and shit for real. But I ain't did that shit. Even that case, bro, that never happens. Like you have so many good thing after good thing after good thing after good thing. Like for like his woo lady is his woo lady doing something serious. He keeps getting all these blessings, but he just keeps self sabotaging. It's crazy. He needs to go to freaking like actual treatment because what are you trying to numb up? Now, ain't Kodak a dad too? Like why don't you go and chill with your dad? Girl, I'm about to go wash this hair. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, that's better. Lana Del Rey. I did not think I'll be saying Miss Mama's name any with anything relevant. Like what? L Lana. Lana Del Rey. Bless her heart. Lana Del Rey got her freaking mic cut, bitch. <laughs> if they cut power, they cut power. I'm super fucking sorry. My hair takes so long to do. I love you to death. Skip, skip Venice, and then we'll do. Uh, we'll just go into the dark. Apparently she came to the show too late. She thought she was just gonna be able to do whatever she wanted to do. They were like, baby, no, get out. We're not paying you for all this. We paid you for that slot. You didn't show up. It is what it is. The only reason why I'm bringing this up, cause I mean, the story could be done right there, right? Like the reason why I'm bringing it up, Lana has not been able to bounce back after that weird girl summer she had. And I'm talking about quarantine when she decided to do like all these weird antics because she is insecure well was insecure at the fact that she was dating somebody um who was in law enforcement and that was not hip even though it went with her little aesthetic yeah no to refresh any of you guys' memory a few of her stunts she did at some protests trying to make black death and minority disparagement she decided to make that about her she decided to make george floyd about her and then out of nowhere 
she decided to um, make this post. On May 21st, Lana made a lengthy post for Instagram saying, quote, now that Doja Cat, Ariana, Camila, Cardi, Kalani, and Nicki Minaj and Beyonce have had number one songs about being sexy, wearing no clothing, cheating, etc. Can I please go back to singing about being embodied, feeling beautiful by being in love, even if the relationship is not perfect, or whatever I want without being crucified? She goes on to say that recently it has become acceptable for these artists to sing about serious topics. And she states that she, quote, paved the way for other women to say whatever they want in their music. She talks about the backlash she's faced for glamorizing abuse in her songs and expresses frustration that she has been critiqued for this. But the other female artists she's mentioned are free to sing without criticism. Lana also states that she is not a feminist because, quote, there has to be a place in feminism for women to look and act like me. Y'all remember that post? It's like, who shit in your, who pissed in your Cheerios that morning that made you wake up and be like, you know what? I'm just about to go in on these women. For what? It's like that white feminism always misses the mark every time because it's not realistic. It's like fairy tale feminism. Girl, you really said the Billy Bad Black Girls like get to do it and I don't get to do it. Like, girl, shut up. You do get to do it. You've made a whole career off of the Lolita stereotype that you were implementing at 25 years old. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. You was. 25 perpetuating the lolita stereotype to middle schoolers on tumblr like let's keep it a damn buck what you were doing is low-key odd and i give it a few more years and y'all i have a lana del rey vinyl downstairs like i'm just being real it's there's gonna be a time where there's gonna be a music analysis of, of your discography ma'am and nobody is gonna be on some uh oh this was revolutionary she she revolutionized the lolita no you're just going to be yet another person that added on to the sexual sexualization of young girls with older men even the whole statement of i make music for girls who just don't know what's going on all the time man basically groomable like let's keep let's call it what it is girl like cut it out and then it's like lana how old are you now 40 like shit let it go nobody wants the whole like look i haven't watched the show yet so i can't really give much of an opinion on this segment but look at how they're treating the weekend and i consider the weekend like lana's male counterpart counterpart with that genre the the model and the the young girl and the older man and that show the idol that's out right now people are tripping over it i haven't seen it yet um i'm gonna watch a few episodes I guess tonight, because I'll talk about it on the next uh, pop culture rant. I'll, I'll do y'all that. Maybe they'll have the third episode out by that time, because as of right now, they're doing like a little hiatus, I'm sure, because of uh, the social media controversy. So speaking of shows that I'm watching, I just watched the newest season of Black Mirror. So, uh, spoiler alert, I guess. Y'all could just, that, that's the end of the video. I'm not doing a recap on, uh, you, me, and my ex this week because honestly, nothing really happened. And if you've been watching, you know, it's, it's been dry. I don't know if, about y'all, but Black Mirror this season was not giving Black Mirror. Black Mirror is supposed to be technology and the future. And I feel like this season was more so about true crime. I feel like Amazon is, um, not Amazon girl. Netflix had a really, really good two years. Cause think about it during the pandemic, they had a really good run with their true crime genre, breaking the internet week after week with the latest docu-series of the latest murder that the family didn't approve of. I truly believe Netflix just assumed the whole world is obsessed with true crime. Little do they know they have created an anti-fan using the same, you know, theory or whatever of the world loves true, true crime because y'all keep trying to push it down our throat. All of the episodes had to do with true crime. One of the episodes had a werewolf. I mean, I'll give them that. It's like the majority of the time. I'm waiting for something to happen. And then there were some endings, which is my least favorite type, is did it really happen? I hate those type of endings. Like, did it really happen? Was it all in her head? And then there were only like three freaking episodes. I just, I'm just like, look. None of them really stand it out to me, but you know, I'm going to talk about Joan is Awful. Cause I guess that one did stand out. I, I take it back, one did stand out. I'ma say it. Was Joan really that bad? <laughs> was Joan really that bad? Like, was she firing that girl based off the color of her skin? No. Was she firing her because she was a girl? No. 
She was firing her because that was her job to let the girl go. I don't get why she's a bad person for that. Joan literally signed away her likeness, which we do every day and don't even realize it. I don't know. Okay, she cheated. Lots of people cheat on some midsummer shit. Do they deserve to die? Like, remember everybody when they first saw Miss Midsummer for the first time? Everybody like didn't bat an eye when they killed the boyfriend. Like he deserved to die. And it's like, girl, no, he didn't. You've just been brainwashed by the cult. You just justified murder. So yeah, I don't know, friends. I don't know. It sucks. It's like adding on to the shows um that I used to binge watch that just like aren't that good anymore, I guess. Like um American Horror Story used to be one of those. I was watching American Horror Story in high school through college like I loved American Horror Story but it's just so uh I think that's all I got hold on <laughs> I did my makeup off camera so my hair got to dry a little bit thank god because I don't really like my hair when it's wet keep my new dress though it's like a cutout Ugh. somebody asked about her in the comments in my last video so I just want you to guys to see well that is pretty much it thank you guys so much for kicking in with me with this video this pop culture rant Ugh, i know this was a short one for y'all but this was so much work for me shout out to all my girls out there that are currently doing wash day like usually i do this at night because <laughs> oh my god make sure you guys leave a like uh if you like this video this segment has been getting a lot of love i appreciate all the new people to my channel make sure you guys leave a comment i love talking to you guys and hit me up on any of my other social media and um yeah, make sure you tune into my podcast if you want to see me do weekly hot topic -y stuff. And that is pretty much it. Thanks again. I will see you guys next time. Stop playing with Orion. Hey. How can I lose if I'm already chosen? Like, if she's feeling hot, then I make up a chosen. I get up and say every time that I post. Damn. The party not lit, then I'd rather not go. If she's feeling hot, then I make up a chosen. I get up and say every time that I post.